Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. These are the common questions that are often asked if you are planning to attend an interview. Also, these are the most commonly used code snippets in your everyday, day-to-day -day programming life. I hope you find this series useful and helpful. Let's get started. So the first thing is Often interview question starts with asking, can you write a class in JavaScript with some methods and properties? Right? So this is more of an introductory and opening kind of question to check whether you have worked with object oriented programming in JavaScript that is writing class, methods, etc. Let's see how to do that. But, but before I get started, I would request you to kindly check out my book, which is covering over 100 plus code snippets that are often asked in interviews. Also, if you want to become a good developer, these code snippets will really help you. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. You can find it here. This has questions on arrays, strings, and much, much more. This would really help you become a good developer. So please do check that out if you're interested. All right, so coming back to the question, how, do you, how to define a class with properties and methods in JavaScript? So what is a class? A class is declared with a name which acts as its identifier. We can use the name to create new objects using the keyword new. All right. So that's how you would explain. And now let's jump into the action, which is hands-on code example. So I'm going to start it here and I'm going to write a simple script. It's just a HTML file. So I'm just writing the uh, script. So the first thing you will do is write class and then followed by the class name. Let's say car. Right, so this is your uh, name of the class that you want. Now you can give any name that you would prefer here. Right? Now e class can have a constructor. Let's say I'm going to give two params and I'm going to say model and name. So constructor is a method which gets initialized when you create a new object. Now let's start by adding a method. Right? So now that we, have, we are passing these two in the constructor, I'm going to use property and assign them here. So this is a keyword we'll use to assign to the properties. Now in the console, if you want to write, um, I'll use template strings and say um, name of the car, right? And use this. This is a template literal strings. That's part of the ES6. So please do check it out. So I'm going to say this dot name close the bracket. So this is how we define a class. All right. So now that we have defined a class, let's create an object of this particular class. And how do we create that? Let's say BMW. Right. So you'll use the new keyword and say car. Right. So now you, the moment you write car, you would see that it's giving options, which is it's a constructor, which can take two params, which is model and name. So Let's pass the model. Let's say 620 is the series and let's say sports edition, right? So this is how I'm creating a new int object of this particular class. And to access any property, we'll write the object name dot the method, right? So here I'm calling the method here. Now save it and let's go back to our code and let's go here. So this is a file I've created. Now you can see name of the car is sports edition, right? So that's how we create a class and create methods inside the class and have properties. And this is how you should explain it to the interviewer. Although this might come as a theoretical answer, I want you to write a pseudo code like this and explain them that you know how to write classes and its methods in JavaScript. I hope it's clear. I hope you find it useful. And like I said, I am bringing this series to help you learn and master um, JavaScript and commonly used uh, code snippets that are often asked. You see, I'm starting with the simple ones, but it would get really tricky like filtering arrays, Fibonacci series, binary search, and much, much more. If you want to get the ebook, the link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.